All right, guys, so what a weird week for Dragon Ball Legends. I feel like we're getting some random updates throughout the week when it's not the weekly reset. So that is very, very rare for Dragon Ball Legends. For example, we ended up getting a banner nobody expected to return on a random Sunday, which was the Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Kao Goku banner. And then tonight, we're also going to get a, uh, a returning event, which is the Battle Royale Powerful Opponent event. Uh, which is not even part of the weekly reset. And by the way, for those of you guys going to say, DB Zoom, it's not tonight. Yes, it is. Take 60 seconds out of your time to learn time zones because I know I'm going to get that comment. So uh, yeah, and then as well as another, you know, of course, the weekly resets, we're going to get more events and we're going to be talking about the whole thing, guys. So if you do enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we're almost up to 100,000 subscribers. So uh, if you guys want to subscribe and uh, join me on the journey to 100K, that would be great. So uh, without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. So first things first is we have a few events ending, five in precise. And then I'll explain exactly what we can expect for the weekly reset, which is going to be tomorrow night. Yes, tomorrow night, time zones, guys, very simple stuff. Um, so the hyperdimensional co-op is going to end. So tomorrow night, we should be seeing a brand new, or we will 100% be seeing a brand new co-op. Um, who that's going to be against, I'm not quite sure. Uh, probably going to correlate to whatever the free-to-play unit is going to be, which we're going to get to in just one bit. I'm very excited for the free-to-play uh, free units, by the way. Uh, I'll explain what I mean in just one bit. Uh, the raid is ending. I love these raids, man. I really, really do. Um, I feel like the rewards are just great. I feel like the raid is possibly the most rewarding. It is, not even possibly. It's by far the most rewarding thing about Dragon Ball Legends alongside Hopoi. Uh, it's just ab absolutely spectacular to stack up on everything you need so uh yeah the battle gauntlet is also going to end which means that we're going to get a brand new battle gauntlet so that's not guaranteed but technically speaking if it falls in the rotation of skipping a beat every single week we should be seeing a battle gauntlet tomorrow who that's going to be we'll get to that in just one bit like i said i made a video on that but i'll touch it in a little bit for the newer viewers um, also the fierce fights, Super Saiyan Trunks free to play, uh, event is ending. So this is an old free to play, uh, oh, not old, but a not so new, uh, free to play, um, you know, unit event that actually came back. So that's going to end and space time duel is going to end as well. So we can expect a brand new PVP season. Now let's talk about what we can expect in general, right? So new co-op, um, battle gauntlet, possibly with a uh, new Zenkai. New free-to-play unit. Now, I think 99% sure we're going to get a free, uh, new free-to-play unit. Now, if you guys did not know, a new free-to-play unit always almost correlates to the XLF. I mean, honestly, like, it's it's sure fire at this point in time. Uh, depending on what tag the free-to-play unit's going to be. Um, I, I love free-to-play units, man. They're actually making them not that bad, except the last two was not that good. Uh, Maj Vegeta was not that good. Free-to-play cell was not that good, but they're usually making them okay and very playable. I do like them. Uh, but it's fun guessing to see who's going to be the next LF, which should be the following next weekly reset, which we're going to get to in just one bit. So uh, Battle Royale does come back tonight, guys. Um, yeah, it's Battle Royale. I mean, honestly, this is powerful opponent. So we're going to be seeing a lot of similar units such as Android 17 and 18. Uh, we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of LOEs for sure, like the Revival Frieza, Full Power Frieza, all that good stuff. So uh, buckle up guys buckle that's all i gotta say buckle up this one gonna last for a week though which is pretty cool normally like the last one it lasted for 14 days which i think that's a little bit too long for battle royale so i think uh a week is a sweet spot for that so uh yeah uh two banners are ending which is going to be this legends region banner which i hope nobody summoned for um as well as this lf trunks is ending now lf trunks is actually pretty good man i love this this unit's damage he's just missing a little bit of um key components such as card draw speed, uh, cover notification, but then if he had that, he'd probably be an ultra unit at this point in time, right? Um, so yeah, you know, I, I like this banner. It's going to come back, but not in the format of the step format. It's going to come back in a normal, um, you know, base uh, banner format. So we have that right there. Um, also, this is just something small, but two shops. I like to keep you guys updated here 24 seven with everything. So uh, just in case you guys haven't uh, collected rewards for these two shops, it ends uh, in just about one day. So make sure you guys uh, go see if you guys have anything to collect there. And we cover this, we cover this. All this stuff is gonna, ah, man, I don't know. Yeah, you, you see the, the issue that I have, which I was actually discussing with a friend the other day is that I don't like how Dragon Ball Legends is so predictable. I mean, I'm looking at all this right now, and I'm like, okay, we can expect a brand new co-op, Zenkai, uh, free-to-play unit. I wish they would switch it up a little bit more, do something different, 
But that's just me though. I mean, that's not just me. That's a lot of people. But I was having a deep discussion with a friend like, hey, I'm gonna make a video of, you know, like I always do every single Monday, uh, you know, on, on what we can expect for, for the weekly reset. And he said, um, he's like, he's like, all right, that's cool. Like, what can we expect, Mike? Pretty much the same thing, right? I mean, honestly, it's a rotation thing. For example, I made this uh, September roadmap here. Um, every first of the month, I make a roadmap. So far, I'm, I'm correct. Right here, Wednesday, we got a brand new all-star banner. And then here on the 7th, we should see, um, you know, free-to-play unit plus Zenkai. So I'm quite curious to see what's going to be uh, for tomorrow. Um, and then the next weekly reset, we should possibly be seeing a brand new Legend uh, Legends Limited unit now. Um, the reviews and stuff would be one day before here on the 13th and then the, um, the, re the reveal for the reviews and stuff date would be here on uh, Sunday the 11th or 10th depending where you guys live right so um, yeah and then after that it's like it's, it's what I'm telling you guys it looks like the same thing like I said I, I just wish Dragon Ball Legends were to throw a curveball I mean honestly like it's ad adapting adapting to something like it's it's like what else can like I'm, I'm trying to think like you have to adapt to something new right i mean i mean what else can they do they have to do something with shadow i feel like early on in the game like first year second year anniversary they threw us off maybe with like a challenge rush uh maybe like a shallot outfit shallot event a specific event they have a powerful opponent campaign going on right now which leads me uh to my next thing uh, which is, um, you know, the next LF, 100%, uh, I think, or 99%, I think is going to be a powerful opponent unit. Who that's going to be, I'm not sure. Like I said, it all correlates to the next um, uh, free-to-play unit that, we're, that we should be seeing tomorrow, right? Or tonight, or tomorrow night, right? Depending on where you guys live. So, for example, right? Here's Baby. Let's just say we get Baby Vegeta. And, um, I mean, let's just say uh, we're all thinking about getting, uh, you know, the next LF, which is Baby Vegeta, just... Just, just an example, right? And then uh, we get a free-to-play Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. This is pretty much going to mean a Super Baby Vegeta. So that, that's what I'm just trying to say about the uh, free-to-play units. Uh, Z Broly, I would love a Z Broly. I'm surprised we don't have an LFZ Broly cooler. Everybody knows what's going on in Dokkan right now with cooler. So that's another big one right there. Um, as for, and I've covered this previously, so I'm just mentioning this for the newer viewers, but... As for the next Zenkai, to be honest, the Zenkai's at this point in time is just bench warmers. I don't really care. Uh, but they're fun collectibles. I'm a collector at the end of the day. And it's fun nostalgia seeing old units uh, getting Zenkai'd. And I would love to see, since in, their, since they're in a powerful opponent campaign going on right now, I would love to see Hit uh, get a Zenkai. I would love to see uh, Su uh, Super Baby Vegeta get a Zenkai. Uh, this Jiren, I would absolutely love to see get a Zenkai. And then just, you know, a wild card here, which is the Cell, which actually almost got a Zenkai, but lost second to voting uh, against the Saga's Green Goku. So, yeah, guys, powerful opponents. Uh, Battle Royale tomorrow. Expect the same units. LOE, 17, 18, maybe a few full power Jirens here and there, right? Uh, Tapion is another big one. You're going to be seeing a lot of Tapion. And that's it. Like, that's that's pretty much it. And as for the banner that came out, uh, you know, uh, tonight or technically yesterday, um, don't summon on this. I, every time this comes out, this lasts for five, six days. Every time this comes out, that means uh, something big is coming to Dragon Ball Legends. So just be smart, be on your toes. That's what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Um, I'm going to go get some coffee and stuff like that. So uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll be back once again, by the way, we should be seeing reveals uh, for the free-to-play unit tonight or the Zenkai tonight as well. So I'll keep you guys updated tonight. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, have those notifications on. But with that being said, I'll definitely catch you guys later on tonight. Have a good one. Peace.